This is a high relief carving of a lobster that I made quite a few years ago. It's all part of a single block. Here's the background. These parts come off the background and the lobster itself is fairly well uh, undercut. It's quite a high relief carving right back here. And the legs are very proud and undercut a little there through lots of shadows. The most difficult part of the carving was in between the legs here, especially up there. And I want to show you what I did. This is a short bent flat gouge or spoon gouge and I used it in here for cleaning up the background so I was able to get rid of all this wood and as I came around here what I found is that I couldn't get into this corner here it was very difficult what I wanted was the same tool but with a corner on it like a skew chisel and look at this here's one so this is a short bend or spoon skew chisel so this will come round and get into there you can also get the skew chisel skewed in the opposite direction so this will come in this way and you usually buy them in pairs so that's a tool that's wonderful for getting into just that sort of tight corner Let's have a look at these tools closer up. These three are the ones I used on the lobster, which I've just shown you. This is not a chisel, this is a, a very flat gouge. So what we've got here are two tools with the corners taken off that are still very flat gouges. So they're not strictly skew chisels. But File is the only uh, firm that I know that make them, and these are really excellent tools. Now these two over here, which I've had for many years and when I started off with, these are actually chisels. In other words, these are flat across. So this is a genuine skew, uh, short bent chisel. Um, these will work very well, but I do prefer this one with a slight curve because it matches the curves that I'm using anyway on the background. 